Broughton Island is home to an array of flora and fauna, including many birds, reptiles, amphibians, and an abundance of invertebrates. Susanna, are any of those species on the endangered list? Yes, there's one species, which is the green and golden bell frog. It's listed as endangered on the Threatened Species Conservation Act. Uh, Broughton Island's thankfully one of the largest populations of the species in New South Wales right. and is also one of the potentially one of the only chytrid free populations. So chytrid is a fungus that affects uh, the respiration of frogs and is the main one of the main reasons why it's um, declining on the mainland. But Broughton Island um, is unique in that the, the fungus hasn't made it made it to the island. So um, we're hoping to keep it that way and we're keeping an eye on the frogs and doing some monitoring and yeah, ensuring that the, the population stays healthy. Any other species of frog on the island? Yep, there's one other species of frog and that's the striped marsh frog. Um, and it's in contrast to the green and golden bell frog, it's one of the most common species of frog on the east coast of Australia. So that one's doing quite well. Quite well, but still a good species. What about the reptiles? Yep, there's a, a whole, uh, well there's a range of reptiles on the island. Um, there's one recorded species of snake, which is a black-bellied swamp snake, uh, but there could be, could be others, so we're constantly keeping an eye out for any unrecorded species. Um, plenty of skinks and lizards, um, one of which is the eastern water skink, but again, um, we'll keep an eye out and record any that aren't on the list already. So Nicholas, tell me about the native birds that live here on Broughton Island. Well, Broughton Island really is for the seabirds, and the most common bird you'd find here are the mutton birds. And we have three species. The most common is the wedge-tailed shearwater. There's also the short-tailed shearwater and the sooty shearwater. And generally, people mostly see them at sea or occasionally as beach-washed individuals that have not survived their journey back to these islands. If you come to Broughton at night, you will actually see them because they form the burrows that cover most of this island. Apart from them, we have the beautiful white-faced storm petrel, which isn't actually on the main island, but we're hoping with the removal of rats that they will return in future years. The hope other, so. yeah, we hope so. <laughs> the other species that are here, which are a bit more noisy, are our, our silver gulls that we have behind us, and they're the common seagull. And people mostly see them along the shorelines, but they actually come to offshore islands to breed. A fantastic bird that really utilises the marine resources available. And as humans know, it's a very good scavenger as well. Yeah. The other bird that's very similar to the silver gull is the, uh, is the crested tern. And it breeds in numbers up to about a thousand pairs on the island in very tight communities. The island also has the northernmost little penguin colony. Right. Apart from that, Probably our bush birds are the most other birds that we get here and they range from little quail and uh, little insectivorous birds like cysticlas all the way through to our birds of prey like the majestic white-breasted sea eagle. Uh, we also have ospreys, we have uh, swamp harriers and various kites and peregrine falcons that use the island as well. So are any of those birds threatened? Certainly some of them are. Um, one of the common shorebirds that we have here is the sooty oyster catcher and it's a stronghold out here on Broughton Island where they breed because they can be easily affected by cats and foxes from the mainland. We also get the pied oyster catcher which comes over from the mainland but doesn't actually breed here and there is also the, the beach curlews and uh, our little terns that visit the island as well. Nicholas, what makes island biodiversity like that here on Broughton Island so different from the adjacent mainland? These offshore islands are quite unique and it's all because of the seabirds. They basically drive the system here. These sort of burrowing birds that we have on Broughton Island can't exist on the mainland because of predators, both natural and exotic predators on the mainland. But out here, they can come and go at will and it's not a problem for them. But what they do is they do two things. One is the burrowing birds particularly disturb the ground, okay? They're always constantly digging it up and kicking it around, and that certainly changes things. The other most important thing is that they bring in all these nutrients from the sea in their guano, in their, in their feces, when they come and sit on the eggs, and then when they feed their chicks, and even when the birds die, there remains all that energy from the sea is left on the island. And what that does is it creates a very nutrient-rich environment, and that makes the vegetation thrive. Now, what can knock that out of balance? One is things like rabbits, obviously, because they'll yep. eat the vegetation. And the other thing is when you've got predators that actually destroy the seabirds, such as rats. Broughton Island is a classic example. About 10,000 storm petrels, which are our smallest seabird in New South Wales, used to breed here on Broughton Island. When the rats arrived, it took them less than 20 years to wipe them out. So for the last 50 years, that la lack of nutrients coming into this environment will have changed the whole dynamics of the system. Now we don't really understand 
how these systems work because so many of our offshore islands have been damaged through introduced predators and the loss of seabirds on those environments. But what we do know is when you remove those predators and redress the balance by allowing the seabirds to build back up again, you end up with a vegetation community very different from the disturbed state and certainly something very different from the mainland. Because not only is the vegetation affected, then it affects the invertebrates, and then that also affects things like the bird fauna that come and visit these islands. So these are incredibly rich environments and very, very special. Mm. We only have about 80 islands in New South Wales that actually support biodiversity, and each one is quite precious in that system. Can you tell us about the vegetation that exists here on Broughton Island? Yes, there's a range of different vegetation types. Uh, firstly, your lower sort of scrub, which includes your bracken fern, your lamandra and your blady grass and that sort of thing. Uh, there's sort of a mid-story of taller vegetation, similar to what's behind us, uh, mainly consisting of tree, broom, heath uh, and things like that. And then there are some taller trees on the island. There's coastal banksias, there's paper barks, and there's also a stand of casuarinas on the island. Uh, there's two um, interesting communities on the island that are mm -hmm. endangered. Um, that's your semita grassland and also your little rainforest species. Um, and also the really interesting thing about coming to Broughton and looking at the vegetation is that it doesn't look like it might normally on the mainland. Okay. Uh, because of the environment and the, the salt and the wind and the exposure from the island, you'll often see uh, trees stunted or sheared off from the wind. Uh, so they look quite different to what you might see on the mainland. And I have noticed small pockets of rainforest. Was the island ever covered in rainforest? And if so, where is it now? Yep, we think uh, possibly the rainforest uh, pockets could have been more widespread than they are at the moment. Uh, there's been a series of impacts on the island. One is humans, um, another is introduced plants and animals. There's been agricultural use and military occupation of the island. And there's also been quite a high fire frequency on the island. So we think all these things have contributed to um, shrinking, I guess, the, 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 the rainforest, but we're hoping now that we've controlled some of those impacts that the, the rainforest or the remnant rainforest patches might, might expand. It's easy to see just how diverse the ecosystem is here at Broughton Island. Unfortunately, many of the native species are under threat from introduced rabbits and rats. For these naturally occurring animals and plants to survive, action must be taken to reset the balance.